already, ladies and gentlemen. So you'll notice my board looks exactly the same as when we just left. I didn't touch anything. All I added was this formula right here. This is the inflation formula. So remember for me, inflation simply measures how much the price changes over time. Uh, sometimes I have a hard time remembering this formula. It's not a particularly tricky one, but if I ever do, I always think of if we go from a, a price level of say 100 to 150, I know that that is a 50% increase. Um, and so to test myself, I always use this formula. And I know if I put 150 here minus 100, well, that's 50. And if it's over 100, well, that's 50 over uh, 100, which is a half or 0.5 times 100 gets me to 50. So I know that this works. So I know that this is how it has to go. Sometimes you want to switch your year twos and your year ones. Don't do it. All right. So let's see here. So my year two in, uh, let's say that I go from uh, year one to year two. So my two CPIs are over here. Actually, my three. So my CPI from year one to year two, it goes from 100 to 200. So my second year CPI is going to be 200 minus my first year CPI, which is 100, all over 100, which I'm, oh, I got to multiply by 100. Let's see, that's going to be 100 over 100 equals 100% inflation. That's a rough year's inflation right there, but the numbers work out. Uh, can you figure out, instead of going from year one to year two, let's go from year one to year three. See if you can do that. I'll give you a second. <sighs> All right, the only thing that's gonna change is instead of having 200, you're not gonna have 300. 300 minus 100, that's going to be 200 over 100. 200 over 100, so let's see here. Instead of having 100% inflation, you are going to have 200% inflation. All right, let's do one more. Instead of going from year one to year three, let's go from year two to year three. Take a second, see if you can figure it out here. <clears throat> so let's see. I don't know that this one's going to work out quite as easily. But now my year two is going to be 300. My second year, or my first year is going to be 200 over 200, so that's going to lead me to uh, 100 over 200, which is uh, half, 0.5 times 100, it's going to get me to 50%. Ooh. And that's the inflation from year two to year three. Uh, you will notice a couple of things. Uh, you can do this with GDP deflator as well because that is a, a type of a price index. Uh, and you could actually do it just with the individual prices for rice. You could find out the inflation for just rice alone by doing the same thing. And if you notice, my, my price is two, four, six. They go up the same. They would work exactly the same way. And you would get the same inflations as if you used 100, 200, and 300. All right. Uh, there's the inflation uh, exercise in a nutshell. Again, as always, please, please, please ask me any questions you have.